We have some NHL waivers news with the Senators and Dallas Stars putting in claims for the guys that were on waivers yesterday, and we also have a trade involving Dmitry Kulikov. We'll get you all caught up coming up next. So welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. Now, as I mentioned, we have some more breaking news from the NHL. Uh, first up, let's take a look at the NHL waiver wire action. Now, we had a bunch of players on waivers yesterday, many of which did clear, including guys like Denny DeKaiser and Alex Biega in Detroit and Cody Golubov, who was signed to a two-way contract for the Senators so he could be uh, eligible to be called up because he's already playing with them in their American Hockey League system. He also cleared, but the Montreal Canadiens ended up losing Victor Mete to to the Ottawa Senators and the New Jersey Devils lost Semi Votnin to the Dallas Stars. So obviously, they're both two players that have been mentioned a lot in trade talks recently. Uh, obviously, I would think that those teams attempted to make trades. I mean, I know at one point it was rumored that Victor Mete wanted out of Montreal to get more opportunity, um, but then it seemed like Mark Bergevin didn't want to trade him. They started playing him more. It was a little bit confusing. I wasn't really sure what was happening there, um, but I guess over time they kind of gave him more of an opportunity. They weren't pleased with how he played, uh, couldn't live up to what they wanted, and I guess this is what it's come to. So they put him on waiver. So, I mean, he, he's a guy who's pretty young. He's still only 22 years old. He's got, I think, around 180 or more games in the NHL. So he's got a lot of NHL experience for his age, which is great. Um, he's going to be needing a new contract, but he's a restricted free agent. So he's a controllable asset. Uh, when it comes to Ottawa, he should fit in nicely there on that blue line, considering that they traded away Braden Coburn and Mike Riley. They very well likely will be trading Eric Branson today as well. So a lot of the veteran guys will go out. So for the rest of the year, he certainly will get more of an opportunity for sure. And I would think that he could be a good fit there longer term as well. Uh, he was Thomas Chabot's partner at the World Juniors a few years back when they were first coming out of junior. Of course, he played for the London Knights, a really prestigious uh, junior franchise, and was teammates and friends with uh, Senators youngster Alex Formanton as well. So there's a few connections there between Mete and some other current Senators. Um, and if you take a look at the left side of the Senators' blue line, you have Thomas Chabot, uh, you have Eric Brandstrom, who's likely going to be stepping up and playing with Artem Zub now, uh, is likely your, your number two left saw D and then Mete could be the number three or where he and Shabbat did play together before um, they could put him up with Shabbat and give it a try they do have a Zeit 7 normally that plays there so we'll see maybe into the future it's hard to say but on the right side you've got Zaitsev uh, you got Artem Zub, and then, of course, you have Jacob Bernard Docker, just freshly signed out of college, likely going to get a chance to play some third pair of minutes as well. So that Senator's blue line should be much improved, but it's going to be a young blue line for sure. Uh, they may want to add some more, uh, you know, extra depth experience perhaps in the fall uh, before the next season, but hopefully they add some better, more experienced depth than we saw in Gabranson and Coburn. Those guys didn't really work out. They're good pros, uh, did what they were asked to do, but just couldn't really live up to the high expectations to lead those young guys, in my opinion. So we'll see what happens there. But Victor Mete should be a great fit when it comes to the Ottawa Senators. And Sammy Votnin in Dallas, you wonder if they're treating Jamie Alexiak. There's been a lot of talk around him. So he could certainly fit there. Um, or are they going to try to hang on to Alexiak? The rumor has it here that Jim Neal doesn't really want to trade Alexiak, um, that he may be trying to find a way to keep him. So I guess we'll have to see. But either way, they add Votnin, who, of course, was traded at the deadline last year to the Hurricanes. I wonder if they might go after him again. But no dice, he ends up in Dallas on waivers. Now, of course, with Dmitry Kulikov going to the Edmonton Oilers, I believe right now that it's a conditional pick. We're just going to finalize that. I'll update the pin comment down below once we have that confirmation, but it's me believed to be a mid-round conditional draft pick. No big surprise that the Oilers try to add a veteran depth piece on the blue line. Certainly having, uh, without Oscar, Oscar Clefbaum all year has been a big blow to that team. Should allow a guy like Chris Russell to play a little bit less, play a little bit more you know, uh, ideal minutes for him. And at the same time, like they've also been somewhat disappointed with the development of Caleb Jones this year as well. They were hoping he would take a bigger step forward and kind of mature into being a more regular top four guy, which unfortunately hasn't really materialized. So double check the pin comment down below and we'll confirm what that pick was going back to New Jersey, but that's a few veterans now traded out of the Devils organization here over the past few days. Now, obviously, there's been another trade as well, which we'll be doing another video coming up shortly. The Canucks have made a deal, and there likely will be plenty more, so stay tuned. We'll keep you up to date here with everything going on on NHL Trade Deadline Day 2021 edition. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and turning on your notifications so you don't miss any future content, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'd appreciate it if you did. 
As always, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.